Welcome to the craze in 10 or less. This is the show where I give it to you in 10 minutes or under. And if I don't, then I will have to write it on a chalkboard 100 times and I didn't. <sighs> no backseas. Anyway, can you make a living making sketch cards? Sketch cards. Can you make money creating sketch cards? That's the topic of the day. Let's talk crazy. Stop acting up. Let's get it. All right, so sketch cards. If you look at Wikipedia, right, a sketch card displays original artwork on a standard size trading card, usually 2.5 inches by 3.5. These cards with black and white or color original art have been randomly inserted into various trading card sets since the 1990s. One of the first sets to include this type of chase card insert was the 1993 Simpsons set, the Simpsons set uh, by Skybox International that had 400 rede uh, renditions or re redemptions, I guess. Um, and it was called Art de Bart card. The first card insert has been most common in non-sport trading cards since Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Clone Wars, Scooby-Doo, Mystery Monsters and all. So... Why this topic? <clears throat> a buddy of mine that I tr uh, we've traveled to conventions together. I met at the Big Apple Comic Con. He's a staple in the New York comic scene and um, he's been working for Tops doing um, sketch cards. And uh, he's done baseball cards and sports cards and uh, uh, comic and movie sketch cards. Uh, been very successful, and if you've ever been to the convention, you'll see Brian Kahn's setup. It's very elaborate, very detailed. His work ethic is beyond any I know. So I came, I started thinking about it, and, you know, can you make a living? Obviously, Brian Kahn does. He's the exception. It's not for everybody. That's why the answer to that question, it all depends uh, because when you look it up and you go to whether it's Indeed or you go to LinkedIn and you look at jobs, you know, you'll see a range of different uh, earnings from 18 to $22 an hour to $1.50 per sketch card. Uh, so there's a lot of different things when you're working for the bigger companies. So you say $1.50 per card. Whoa, that's preposterous. Well, it's more than just $1.50 because they give you some of those limited edition uh, cards, blank cards, whether it's gold foil, whatever it is, uh, all of their specific limit that you can only get from those brands or those categories, and then you can resell it. Uh, so you can put your artwork on it and resell it and make a lot of money, especially, that's why it all depends, especially if you have a following. So a lot has to do with uh, tenure, has to do with, you know, uh, attractability. The people like your style of art, uh, demand for your style of art, uh, and the work ethic. I could tell you that we would do conventions with Brian, who's probably the only sketch card guy I know. Uh, but get up six in the morning, do the show, go out, get dinner, drinks. Get back to the hotel. Everybody's crashed. He's up all night sketching and doing commissions. So there's a mindset and there's a there's a work ethic that's involved there, right? So how do you how did how did someone like Brian make the money, right? So it's from what I've seen, it's his original art. So if you go to his table, he has hundreds of samples to sell. So he has original and he has print versions. Uh, he's done everything from the Warriors, the movie, Lord of the Rings, uh, Marvel Comics stuff. So, really, it's it's your work ethic and the networking. So, sketch card. I can tell you that this is one of mine for designating my toilet duty. It's uh, one of my sketch cards, and this is my branded card. So, if I take it out of the uh, frame. This is when uh, all my characters from a book on the back of it and the art of Samuel, which is below. 
And I started doing this because um, I was introduced to this by Brian. So I was like, all right, what I learned was at the big shows, people might not want to invest in an independent comic book that they don't know. So you need to have something else. So I started doing commission pieces and I would have my own branded character sketch cards. So I would have different versions of duty and different versions of cosmic wars or forbidden or whatever, uh, in a portfolio that I, I would sell. And if it was black and white, I'd sell them for five bucks. If it was full color, I'd sell it for 10 bucks. Um, and did really, really well, but I don't have name. I'm not a sketch card artist. I am a comic book creator that sketches cards in line with to tie into my book to be able to make additional income to make up for the revenue um, spent for that table, for that flight, for that hotel, whatever it is. So I thought it was pretty fantastic when I was, so I went online and I was looking at the, uh, the last year, September, I'm not, I'm not going to put names out, but there was an artist that uh, was doing, working for Tops after X amount of years consistently with a big following, decided to leave because they had four different projects and still never received payment, even though they were paying him $1.50 per card. Now, some of those s sketches, you're doing like 400 sketches. And then remember, you're getting, you're also getting the extra stuff that you're able to sell and make money. But all that work, you're still not even getting that. So um, there's risks, uh, and he's probably the exception. But when I started looking at the forum, there were several others that didn't get paid. Um, so it's pretty interesting, a medium that I'm not really uh, savvy about, but I've been exposed to. Um, but some people do make a living. I can tell you Brian Khan makes an, a, a living. That's why he does um, um, doing it. So he's the exception. Uh, he does appearances at uh, comic book retailers, and he'll have set up a table with all his artwork. He doesn't he doesn't skim on the presentation. His presentation is exceptional. Uh, you know, he's always on the road doing events, except for now this year with all this um, the social distancing. But um, but it's a grind. It's a grind. So, yes, you can make money. The salaries range anywhere from, you know, again, like I said, 18 to $22 an hour. Then there's the $1.50 per card. Uh, then, you know, then there's also selling it on eBay, um, having your own website, having a fan base, having a following, having a connection to some major lines. Uh, so all those variables will determine your success rate and whether or not you'll have longevity in the sketchbook arena. Uh, so if you're a sketch uh, card artist and you want to be able to provide some um, insight into your world, you know, please respond to this video on YouTube uh, and uh, let's, let's chat about it. Um, and uh, so that's the crazy intent or less. It just came into my head. I was thinking about it. Uh, Making a living, drawing sketch cards. You can if you are the exception. So, subscribe to Cast the Craze um, podcast. Hit that bell. Don't ever miss another episode going forward. I appreciate your support. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. If you didn't see, I was on J.D. Calderon's show. It was pretty cool. We had a great time chatting it up. and He made me think about a lot of things that I almost forgot. It was a really good interview. Very proud of JD uh, with his show. He's doing really well. Sam the, Sam the Crazy Man Vera. This is Catch the Crazy in 10 or less. I'll talk to you soon.